Hello, Python coders. This document is about F strings, as you can see, covered on those pages in our textbook. And this is the way we want you to format your output for this course. If you go online, you'll see other methods. And in fact, the previous edition of this textbook uses a completely different method. But this is the method that we want you to use, F strings. It's the most modern method, and it's also the easiest. It gives you ultimate control of every single character in your output. So I want you to take a good look at this document. You'll find this in Module 2. <clears throat> okay. Now, I wanted particularly to show you today this particular program here, which basically shows you some of the features that you can get with F-String that we don't really need so much in Chapter 2 but will be very important in a future chapter. But we want to introduce them here. You can see what we're going to do here. We're, we're going to work with a, a value n uh, of 64. And then we're going to get the square root by using the 1 half power. And we're going to get the cube root by using the 1 third power of that value. Now, <clears throat> we're going to generate output. We're going to generate actually three columns of output. That's the part that, that we wanted to demonstrate here today. And that is control of the column, columns. So there's the F. And I started the string with, with a single quote. Could have used a double quote, but we went for a single one. Now I'm printing um, this character to indicate column widths. This will just show where the columns are in the output. And uh, in fact, I'll run it right now. So you can see how it runs. It only generates one line of output. But there's the output line right there. <clears throat> so how is that formatted? You'll notice that this uh, first column is left aligned, the middle one is centered, and the rightmost column is right aligned. Well, how we get that done with F strings is like this. There's the F string specifier inside the curly braces. So the first thing you want to put inside the curly braces is what you want to format. Well, we want to format the end variable in this first column. And then you follow that with a colon. And then you indicate, after the colon, how you want it to be aligned. This character will cause left alignment. The 10 indicates that we want to put it in a column 10 characters wide. The point two means we want to show it as a, a floating point number with two decimal places, and that's what the F is all about for floating point. Okay, so that's why we got our, our number 64 displayed with two decimals in a column that's 10 characters wide. Look at the second formatter uh, specifier here with the curly braces. This time we're going to print out the root two variable colon is required syntax. Now the caret indicates centering. So we're going to center this time in a column that's 12 characters wide with five decimal places. And then we do basically the same thing for the, um, for the cube root, except we're going to format that right aligned. And that's how you indicate right alignment. So the less than sign gives you left alignment. The caret gives you centering and the greater than sign gives you right alignment. <clears throat> so if we look at the program here again, you can see this is exactly centered. And by the way, I'm just going to check the column widths for you. I've got my cursor located here at the start of this first column. And I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's exactly 10 characters wide. This column here should be 12 characters wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one should also be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And as you can see, we did get five decimal places in both the center and uh, rightmost column. So you've got total control. And this will be very important a little bit later when we, <coughs> we're going to be creating tabular output, tables of values. And we can just demonstrate that really quickly just by copying this line pasting it in here a few times. I'll just paste it in twice, for example. And we'll run it again. And you'll see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Notice how you can get a nicely formatted table with all the decimals lining up. That'll be very important when we do chapter four later on. Okay, so that's your introduction to F strings. <clears throat>